It is about 7 a.m. right now, and I'm about to get ready for the day. But first, I'm gonna do a wake and bake and smoke a bowl with you guys before I get my day started. And I wanted to take you guys along on a shopping spree with me. This is the shop that I worked at when I first moved to LA, and they're doing a two year anniversary party today. So I'm gonna stop by, do some shopping, and say hello to some old faces. Makeup is all done. I'm about to do a dab out of this beautiful cookie piece by Empire Glass. And then we're gonna head out and go shopping. So while I wait for this to cool down, check out the details of this piece. It's so cute a little straw and this is like um what's that ice cream called i'm just gonna call it blue moon ice cream even though i don't know i think it's supposed to be ice cream blue moon ice cream whipped cream and a cookie on top all right i think it's cool enough to hit let me dab it on some uh gmo garlic cookies cheers left on here. <coughs> we don't waste. Now it's time to get the day started. Let's go. Ooh, hopping into my Uber. How do you open this? Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, I tried to be clear about the instructions because it's on the opposite side of the road. How are you? All right, so we are en route to the pottery right now. I'm about to do a little shopping spree and pick out some of my favorite products from the shop. And then you guys will also get to see where I used to work. So we have arrived at the pottery. I'm about to head in. I'm excited to shop. And this time I'm gonna be on the other side of the counter. So this is where I used to work. Hi. This is Sophia. She's gonna check me in. So what do you need to see from me? So we are all checked in and we're gonna do a whole tour of it. So right when you walk in, we have all of the concentrates. Some of my favorite brands are in this case. We have Field, I see Dab Hill Shatter right here, love them. We also have Rock Garden. We got Zach's Wax, Crown. So I'm definitely gonna be picking up something from this case. I don't know what I'm going to pick yet. I'm gonna have to do a lap and think about it. There's a lot of good stuff on the shelf. Next up, we have edibles. Some cookies, lollipops, enjoyable edibles. We just had some cookies yesterday. America and I ate all six flavors in one sitting. We have some drinks. Gummies. I love the Kanas. They also have Wilds. These are my favorite. I've been eating these ones lately. The chocolate. It's looking pretty low right now. I usually get the chocolate covered blueberries, but they have the espresso beans, so I think I'm gonna grab some of those. Been loving the chill. Apparently, everybody's been loving the chocolate because there's like nothing in this section. What the hell? So, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my favorite section the flower section. Starting off with the budget-friendly section, we have the 
Pacific Stone. You guys saw me do a review on that. We have the Littles, Valley Cali, Rich and Rufus, and then we have some Faco Grams over here. So next we have the Middle Show. We have some Glass House Farms. Three C Farms, one of my favorites. I love the Sasquatch stuff. We have all of the Fade Co. Blackjack, one of my personal favorites. Mendo Breath is really good too. This is a Cannabiotics collab. We have some Ember Valley, Miracle Alien Cookies, Sunday Charges, THC Design. I love their X313, really good. And then my favorite show, the Top Show. Wonder Bread, Connected, Alien Loves, LA Kush, Packwoods, Cure Company. So here we have all of the vapes. So you guys might see some of your favorite brands here. We have Raw Garden, Plug and Play, Rogue, Blue. We have CZ, Legion. Here we have the pre roll section, and I will show you guys some of my favorite pre rolls. So, you already know Connected, THC Design, I love Greasy Farms, Littles, but it looks like they only have hybrid left, Seiko. And we also have these loaded up joints. These are my faves. So they're 1.4 grams of flour and they have a glass tip. So bomb. So here we have all of the accessories. They have all of this cute Jonathan Adler set. I'm obsessed with these coasters. So this is the coaster set and it has one that says shrooms, peyote, weed, LSD, and there's a big hash container. A lot of you guys ask me about my plants over pills, so whatever, this is where I got it. So here is the merch section. Look at all the goodies I picked up today. We got Nick and me. I'm so excited. Thank you. You're welcome, Jenny. So we are at the pottery in cultivation right now, and I'm getting a little tour of all the girls. We're checking out all the strains that they have. wrapped up our little shopping spree and now I'm on my way back home we are heading to another event after this but I will be doing a little haul for you guys and showing you guys everything I picked up at the pottery we are back and I'm going to show you guys all of the products I got I try to pick a variety of things and some of the things I wanted were sold out because it was their two-year anniversary and it was super busy should have known <laughs> but I still picked up some good stuff we have some live resin sauce by Raw Garden. The strain is Orange Walker. I haven't had this one yet, so I'm excited to try it. I do like citrusy strains. I try to stay away from them because I, I smoke them too much, but I couldn't resist when I saw this one. So this one's testing at 76% THCA, and it has a little bit of CBD in it too, a little under 1%. Okay. I also picked up a couple of eights. This is Lava Cake by Faco, and it's limited edition, that's why it comes in the box. I believe this one is $50 before tax, and this is $35, I don't know if I mentioned the price, but this is $35 before tax, these are $50. 
and then it also comes with a little pin. I think every box has a different pin in it, but this one has a little Faco. It's like a little Nike symbol with a swoosh. It's cute. And so yeah. Let's crack it open. Ooh. Okay. Damn. This is testing at 25% THC and 0.07% CBD. You guys, these nugs are so hearty. There's only two nugs inside of this jar, and it's a full eighth, but they're so freaking dense. Look at this nug. I'm, like, mesmerized by this nug. Oh my gosh. Like, this is me trying to squeeze it. It's so dense. I'm literally, like, squeezing it hard. <laughs> All right, y'all know I had to spoil myself and get some connected. <laughs> I grabbed some Gushers. Oh, yes. These buds are nice and dense too. And the connected eighth is 65 before tax, I believe. I also grabbed some more Pacific Stone. The first video I posted on YouTube was the banjo review. I hate to break it to you, they raised the prices on these. So when I did the review, I bought it for 15 and eighth. They are now 22 and eighth, and that's before taxes hit. For those of you that aren't from California, the sales tax on weed is anywhere between 30 to 50%. Yes, you heard me correctly. And depending on what shop it is, um, the taxes are gonna vary because I remember about attending not too long ago and people would get really upset and be like okay well at this shop it's cheaper and da 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 well at every shop it's different depending on how much of the taxes the shop decides to pay themselves so that's gonna vary um but yeah i picked up some wedding cake this is 22 dollars an eighth before taxes and this one's really popular so i was like you know i'm just gonna get it try it and let you guys know how it goes and is it worth 22 dollars Last but not least, I picked up some chocolate-covered espresso beans. I love the terabytes. They have chocolate-covered blueberries that are my favorite, but they were sold out, so I decided to get the espresso beans instead. And also, I need a little pick-me-up because, um, I mean, the espresso beans are naturally going to give you energy, but then the medicated chocolate is going to get you high. So it's a hybrid, I'd say. I should just crack it open and eat one right now, huh? I'm using my tweezers to pry this open because my girl's not trying to ruin her nails. A lot easier than I thought. <laughs> mm. This is what the inside looks like. Each espresso bean is gonna be five milligrams of THC. So when I first started eating edibles, I'm not even exaggerating you guys, I would eat one and be fucked up. Now I can eat like a whole tin and be fine, but not too long ago, I would say a couple months ago, I was such a weenie when it came to edibles and now I love edibles so much. Um, they help me sleep. That's mainly why I take them. Oh cute, and it has a little Start with one bite. Wait at least two hours for full effect. THC tolerances vary. It's like a little note they have inside. Like, warning, you will get high. All right. So, cheers. Mmm, I love chocolate so much. And that coffee bean does not taste like weed. It's so good, so dangerous. So I think we're gonna start off with the wedding cake because it's testing the lowest and I have work to do today. Plus, I'm gonna chase it with a dab. So yeah, let's do it. Nice. Ooh, little baby nuggies. Let me show you guys what all spilled out of this. Little popcorn nuggies, but they're dense. Not as dense as the gushers and the lava cake, but dense enough. They're a little bit um, squishy. 
Just in case you didn't know, wedding cake is Girl Scout cookie crossed with cherry pie cookie. If you guys are joining me, spark your joint, your blunt, pack your bowl, let's sesh. I can't really tell you what it tastes like. I'd say piney. Yeah, definitely piney. If you're expecting it to be fruity, I gotta wait until the sign is done going off. If you're expecting it to be fruity or sweet or something because it's wedding cake, it's not. Mm. Have a feeling I'm gonna be litty. This is my first joint of the day and I'm sparking it with you guys. So I hope you guys are sparking it up with me too. And if you're not, it's okay. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Notice that I French inhale and ghost a lot, and it's because when I take straight hits, it hurts very, very bad. Also, oh. Almost had it. <laughs> I was trying to see how many smoke tricks I could do. <coughs> that was cool though. I never tried that one. <laughs> that was kind of okay. Must be high as fuck from doing all these smoke kicks with you guys. I need to try to do it in this nostril. If you guys wonder why I never inhale like straight, like <coughs> that's why. Oh, it hurts so bad. Ugh, like I have to French inhale or ghost for it to not hurt when I inhale. And I know that sounds terrible, but it's the truth. <coughs> okay, this is almost done. And then we're gonna do a dab of the orange walker live resin sauce. So just to do a recap of pricing, because I know you guys are interested in how much I spent. The Gushers was 65. The sauce was 35. The edibles, they're 20. The lava cake was 50. And then I also have a lighter. That was two dollars so overall i spent about roughly 250 dollars after taxes all right you guys you are my witness would you guys keep hitting this comment below if y'all would keep 
hitting it until it gets to like here. <laughs> Once again, if you are smoking a joint, <laughs> smoking a blunt, doing a dab, whatever, join me. smells of fire. So this is the Orange Walker by Raw Garden. It smells so good. And I'm high as fuck from that joint, so that's why. I don't know if you guys notice this, but as I go on, like after I smoke, you guys can hear my voice getting lazier and lazier. <laughs> okay, so, oh my gosh, it's like digging into dessert. Oh my god. Zam, Zanny. Oh my god. Ugh. This is like weed porn. I'm a sucker for terps. Alright, I think my dad's ready. It's like a low temp dab. I ate an edible, smoked a joy, did a dab, and yeah. Thank you guys for going shopping with me and getting lit with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are interested in supporting your girls, make sure you guys pick up a t-shirt from our shop. We appreciate the love, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.